Have you ever felt the strange power of salt? It's not just a seasoning, it's a spiritual force that has woven its way through history, mysticism, and even the pages of ancient texts. Imagine holding something so ordinary yet so profound in your hands. What if I told you that this simple mineral has been used as a shield against negativity and a tool for purification? Think about it. Why has salt been revered in various cultures for centuries? What secrets lie hidden beneath its crystalline surface? Picture this, the ancient world, where wise sages sprinkled salt to ward off evil spirits and bless sacred spaces. Can you feel the energy shift? It's not just folklore, it's a vibration that resonates with the very fabric of our universe. Salt has been mentioned throughout the Bible, often symbolizing preservation and divine covenant. But what if there's more to it than meets the eye? As we dive deeper, keep your mind open. Let's explore the unseen forces at play and uncover the truth behind this seemingly mundane substance. What role does it play in your spiritual journey? Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Symbolism of Salt in the Bible You know, when I first started digging into the symbolism of salt in the Bible, I was struck by its profound significance. Salt isn't just a seasoning, it carries meanings of purity, preservation, and even sacrifice. Think about it, in ancient times, salt was a valuable commodity. It was used to enhance flavors, yes, but it also played a crucial role in preserving food. This dual purpose mirrors the spiritual essence it represents in the scriptures. It reminded me that faith, much like salt, can enhance our lives and protect us from spiritual decay. There's a beautiful passage in Matthew where Jesus refers to his followers as the salt of the earth. This phrase encapsulates the idea that we are called to bring flavor and preservation to the world around us. Salt purifies, it cleanses. As believers, we are encouraged to reflect that purity in our lives, keeping our thoughts and actions aligned with God's will. It makes me think about how often we might need a little salting ourselves, an infusion of divine flavor to maintain our spiritual health. And let's not forget about sacrifice. In the Old Testament, salt was often used in offerings. It symbolized the covenant between God and his people. When I read about the covenant of salt, it reminds me of the serious commitment God made to his people and, by extension, to us. It signifies endurance and permanence. Just as salt preserves food, God's promises endure through time, reminding us that his love and faithfulness are unwavering. Salt as spiritual preservative. Reflecting on salt as a spiritual preservative really opens up a whole new perspective on faith. When I think of preservation, I picture a robust, vibrant faith that stands against the test of time and temptation. Salt, in this context, becomes a metaphor for the strength we draw from our relationship with God. It's like a protective barrier that keeps our spirits intact amid life's trials. In our daily lives, we face countless pressures that can lead us astray. The world is filled with distractions that attempt to corrupt our values and beliefs. But just as salt prevents food from spoiling, our faith acts as a safeguard against spiritual decay. It encourages us to remain grounded, reminding us to nurture our relationship with God through prayer, community, and scripture. I often find myself reflecting on how easy it is to let that spiritual salt dwindle. It's a challenge to maintain that fervor. But when we actively seek to preserve our faith, by engaging in uplifting practices and surrounding ourselves with supportive communities, we fortify ourselves against corruption. It's a daily journey of keeping our spiritual essence intact, ensuring that we don't lose our flavor in a world that often tries to dilute it. The Salt Covenant when discussing the concept of the salt covenant, I can't help but feel a deep sense of connection to the biblical narrative. The idea that God established an everlasting covenant with his people through salt is both fascinating and reassuring. It speaks volumes about God's intention to maintain a relationship with us that transcends time and circumstance. In the Old Testament, salt was often used in sacrifices, symbolizing purity and commitment. It's like a solemn handshake between God and his people, reinforcing that their bond is sacred and enduring. The passages that reference this covenant emphasize the seriousness of our relationship with God. For me, it's a reminder that our faith isn't just a personal endeavor, 
it's part of a larger story written by God himself. When I consider the implications of this covenant, I feel a sense of responsibility. Being part of this divine agreement means I must uphold the values it represents. It encourages me to live a life that reflects God's promises, embodying the qualities of loyalty, faithfulness, and purity that salt represents. It's a beautiful dance of grace and commitment, where I strive to honor the covenant while being blessed by its unyielding nature. The concept of salt as a symbol of God's promises also reassures me during difficult times. Life can throw curveballs that shake our faith, but knowing that God's covenant is as enduring as salt gives me hope. It reminds me that even when I falter, God's faithfulness remains a constant, preserving my spirit and guiding me back to His embrace. Salt in Rituals and Practices As I delve into the role of salt in religious rituals and practices, I'm always fascinated by how something so ordinary can carry such profound significance. Salt has been used in various liturgical contexts, often symbolizing purification and blessing. When it's sprinkled or mixed into offerings, it transforms the ordinary into something sacred, invoking a sense of reverence. In many traditions, salt is used in blessings, a sacred act that sets apart people or objects for divine purpose. I remember attending a ceremony where salt was incorporated into the blessings of a new home. The act of sprinkling salt was not just about seasoning, it symbolized protection and the desire for purity within those walls. It's moments like these that remind me of the tangible ways we seek God's presence in our lives. There's also a historical context to salt in rituals. In ancient Israel, it was often included in sacrifices as a sign of the covenant and commitment to God. It's intriguing to think that these practices have persisted through centuries, evolving while maintaining their core significance. It's as if salt serves as a bridge connecting us to our spiritual ancestors, a reminder of the continuity of faith. The use of salt in rituals is a beautiful expression of our desire for closeness with the divine. It's a way of manifesting our hopes and prayers, believing that these simple actions can invite God's presence into our lives. Whether it's in a communal setting or a personal practice, the act of using salt in worship connects us to something greater than ourselves. Salt in the Parables of Jesus Exploring the references to salt in the parables of Jesus has opened my eyes to the depth of his teachings. When Jesus called his followers the salt of the earth, it struck me as a powerful metaphor. It encapsulates the idea that we are meant to add flavor to the world, to make a difference in our communities, and to preserve what is good and true. In the context of Jesus' teachings, salt represents the transformative power of faith. Just as salt enhances the flavor of food, our faith can enrich the lives of those around us. It challenges me to consider how I can be that salt, how I can contribute positively to my environment, whether it's through acts of kindness, compassion, or simply sharing the love of Christ. Moreover, the metaphor of salt carries a sense of urgency. Jesus emphasized that if salt loses its flavor, it becomes worthless. This stark reminder compels me to maintain the vibrancy of my faith. It's too easy to become complacent, but the call to remain salty reminds me that I have a role to play in God's narrative. It's a call to action that encourages me to live intentionally and purposefully. Ultimately, the parables remind me that being salt isn't just about personal faith, it's about community impact. It inspires me to think beyond myself and consider how I can influence others positively. In a world that often feels bland or chaotic, being that flavorful presence is a divine calling that I strive to embrace. Salt in Liturgy and Ritual You know, when we think about religious rituals, it's fascinating how something as simple as salt can carry so much weight. In many traditions, salt is more than just a seasoning, it's a symbol of purity and a vital component in various liturgical practices. For instance, in the Christian tradition, salt is often used in blessings and purifications. It's a tangible reminder of the covenant between God and his people. When you sprinkle salt during a blessing, it's almost as if you're invoking that ancient promise, calling upon divine protection and sanctification. In some churches, salt is combined with water to create a holy mixture used in baptismal rites. This practice symbolizes the cleansing of sin and the renewal of life through Christ. It's intriguing how this humble mineral is woven into the fabric of our spiritual lives. 
When you think about the act of baptism, it's a profound moment, and the addition of salt emphasizes the importance of spiritual purity. It feels like the salt acts as a conduit, connecting the physical act to a deeper spiritual meaning. Moreover, the use of salt in rituals can be traced back centuries. In ancient times, it was common to use salt in sacrifices, highlighting its importance in worship. The Hebrew Bible mentions salt in the context of offerings, reinforcing its role as a purifying agent. This historical continuity adds a layer of richness to our current practices. When we partake in rituals that incorporate salt, we're not just participating in a contemporary act, we're engaging in a sacred tradition that spans generations. There's also something quite communal about using salt in rituals. When a congregation gathers for a service, and salt is part of the ceremony, it fosters a sense of unity. Everyone present partakes in this shared experience, reinforcing the bond within the community. It's like an invisible thread weaving everyone together, reminding us of our collective faith and the promises we uphold. The salt, in this sense, becomes a symbol of our shared journey in faith. In summary, salt in liturgical practices serves as a powerful reminder of purification, community, and continuity. It's a simple yet profound element that enhances our worship experience, inviting us to reflect on the deeper spiritual meanings behind our rituals. References to Salt in Jesus' Parables When you dive into the parables of Jesus, you can't help but notice how often he uses everyday elements to convey profound truths. One of the most striking examples is the metaphor of being the salt of the earth. This phrase has been a cornerstone of Christian teaching, emphasizing our role in preserving goodness and truth in the world. When Jesus spoke these words, he wasn't just talking about salt as a seasoning, he was calling us to be agents of change and preservation in a world that often feels chaotic. The imagery of salt is particularly poignant because it carries connotations of flavor and preservation. Think about it, when salt is added to food, it enhances the taste. Similarly, as followers of Christ, we're called to enhance the world around us with our actions and attitudes. We're reminded that our lives should reflect the love and grace of God, just as salt reflects its unique qualities when mixed with food. It's a beautiful analogy that challenges us to consider how we can positively influence our surroundings. Moreover, there's a cautionary aspect to this parable. Jesus warns that if salt loses its flavor, it's no longer good for anything. This serves as a powerful reminder that we must stay rooted in our faith. It's easy to become complacent or lose our zest for life, but this metaphor encourages us to remain vigilant. We're reminded that our spiritual vitality is essential not just for our well-being but also for the health of our communities. Another aspect worth pondering is how salt can symbolize sacrifice. In biblical times, salt was often associated with offerings. Jesus, in his parables, often pointed to the cost of discipleship. Following him isn't just about the blessings, it's about embracing the challenges and sacrifices that come with it. When we think about being the salt of the earth, it's an invitation to reflect on what we're willing to give up for the sake of the gospel. In essence, the references to salt in Jesus' parables invite us to engage deeply with our faith. They challenge us to consider how we can live out our calling as preservers of goodness and truth, all while reminding us of the importance of maintaining our flavor in a world that often tries to dull our impact. Salt and the Nature of Prayer When it comes to prayer, the inclusion of salt adds an intriguing dimension to our spiritual practice. In many Christian traditions, salt is not just an element of the physical world, it embodies a spiritual essence that enhances the act of prayer. When we incorporate salt into our prayers, it becomes a symbol of purification and a tool for invoking God's presence. It's as if we're acknowledging our need for cleansing and divine intervention right from the start. For instance, when we pray over food, it's a moment that combines gratitude with the act of blessing. The salt serves as a reminder that we're not just nourishing our bodies, we're also engaging in a sacred act. This simple practice resonates with the idea that everything we do, even the mundane, can be infused with spiritual significance. It's a beautiful way to connect the everyday with the divine, reminding us that God is present in all aspects of our lives. Additionally, salt is often used in various forms of prayer or blessings, particularly in moments of consecration. 
Whether it's blessing a home, a child, or a new endeavor, salt serves as a mark of sanctification. This application underscores the belief that God's grace can permeate our lives, transforming the ordinary into something sacred. It's a powerful reminder that we can invite God into our circumstances, no matter how trivial they may seem. Moreover, the act of praying with salt can symbolize our commitment to God's will. Just as salt enhances flavor, our prayers should enhance our relationship with God. When we pray, we're acknowledging our dependence on Him and seeking His guidance. The salt becomes a physical representation of our yearning for spiritual nourishment and direction. It's a way of saying, Lord, I want to be more like you, I want my life to reflect your love and grace. In conclusion, the role of salt in prayer is multifaceted. It serves as a symbol of purification, a tool for blessing, and a reminder of our commitment to live in accordance with God's will. As we incorporate salt into our spiritual practices, we open ourselves to a deeper understanding of prayer and its transformative power in our lives. Salt as a defense against evil. You know, there's something intriguing about the way salt has woven itself into the fabric of our cultural beliefs and superstitions. It's almost as if this humble mineral has taken on a life of its own, standing as a guardian against the unseen forces of negativity. I remember hearing stories from my grandmother about how scattering salt around the house could ward off bad spirits. It wasn't just old wives' tales, there was a certain reverence in the way she spoke about it. It felt like a ritual, a tangible way to push back against the darkness that sometimes creeps into our lives. Many cultures share this belief in salt as a protective charm. In some traditions, people would carry a little pouch of salt with them, believing that it would shield them from harm. I often think about how these practices reflect our innate desire for safety and peace. When we feel vulnerable, reaching for something as simple as salt can feel empowering. It's fascinating to think that something so ordinary can be viewed as a barrier against the chaos of the world around us. In biblical contexts, we see similar themes. Salt appears in various scriptures as a metaphor for purity and preservation, but there's also an understanding that it can act as a safeguard. The idea that salt can protect us from evil is deeply embedded in spiritual practices. When I think about it, it's not just about the physical properties of salt, it's about the mindset it cultivates. Carrying salt can be a reminder to stay vigilant against negativity, whether that's in the form of harmful thoughts or toxic relationships. Moreover, there's a certain comfort in the ritual surrounding salt. When I was younger, I'd watch my family sprinkle a bit of salt over our shoulders to counteract any bad luck that might be lurking. It felt like a communal act of defiance against unseen threats. These rituals become part of our collective memory, binding us together in a shared understanding of the protective power of salt. It's a beautiful intersection of faith, tradition, and human experience that transcends generations. Ultimately, the belief in salt as a defense against evil taps into something primal within us. It's about trust, trust in a substance that has been utilized for centuries to safeguard homes and hearts. Whether we're aware of it or not, we are participating in a long-standing tradition that finds strength in the simplicity of salt. The science and spirituality of salt. Now, let's take a moment to explore the fascinating interplay between the science of salt and its spiritual significance. It's almost poetic how something so scientifically simple can hold such complex meanings in our lives. For instance, salt is composed of sodium and chloride, elements that are essential for our survival. But beyond its nutritional value, salt possesses unique properties that have made it a focal point in spiritual practices throughout history. When we consider the chemical properties of salt, we recognize its role in preservation. Salt draws moisture out of foods, preventing the growth of bacteria and extending the shelf life of perishables. This preservation quality mirrors many spiritual beliefs about salt acting as a safeguard against moral decay and negative influences. It's interesting to think that our ancestors, who relied heavily on salt for their survival, also imbued it with deeper meanings related to life, death, and the spiritual realm. Moreover, the act of salting not only preserves food but also enhances its flavor. In a spiritual sense, this can be likened to the idea that salt enhances our lives, bringing out the best in our experiences. Just as a pinch of salt can transform a bland dish into something memorable, perhaps a sprinkle of faith, symbolized by salt, 
can elevate our everyday existence. It's a beautiful metaphor for how spirituality can enrich our lives in ways we might not even realize. As I reflect on this connection, I'm reminded of the cultural rituals involving salt that have persisted across different societies. From ancient offerings to the gods to modern practices in spiritual cleansing, salt has remained a symbol of both physical and spiritual nourishment. It's fascinating how these traditions have endured, adapting to new contexts while retaining their core essence. This speaks to the universal human experience of seeking connection, safety, and meaning. In essence, the science and spirituality of salt are intertwined in a way that reflects our complex relationship with the world. While we may think of salt primarily as a seasoning or preservative, it carries with it a rich tapestry of meanings that resonate deeply within our hearts and minds. It's a reminder that even the simplest things can hold profound significance, bridging the gap between the physical and the spiritual. As we dive deeper into the mysteries of salt, it's clear that this humble mineral holds far more power than we often realize. Consider the biblical references, salt as a covenant, a preservative, and even a symbol of purity. But what does it mean for us today? Are we using this ancient tool to its fullest potential in our spiritual practices? Imagine, for a moment, sprinkling salt not just as seasoning but as a protective barrier against negative energies. What if this simple act could transform your space, elevating your vibrational frequency? Have you ever felt a shift in energy after using salt in your rituals? As we explore these hidden truths, I invite you to reflect on your own relationship with salt. How can you incorporate it into your daily life to enhance your spiritual journey? What rituals resonate with you, cleansing your space, setting intentions, or even as part of your meditation? So, I challenge you, the next time you reach for salt, pause and remember its ancient significance. Embrace its power and let it guide you on your path to spiritual awakening. What revelations will you uncover? The journey doesn't end here, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep evolving.